Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we continue to work on our character and all the replication stuff so we can change clothes in multiplayer mode. So first let's go to the t-shirt and let's make this um, correct here with the textures. So let's import our PBR textures, our default one. So here we need um, top. So get all the top clothes and open it up. And this one will be our base. So, um, yeah, put it into the base, move it there. Same as the top, move it there. And inside here, open the top material. And we actually want all the textures to be in our material. So this is the old one, so delete here the white one, and here is the roughness, here is the normal, and here we have the metallic, oh, so the base color, and the ambient occlusion. So apply this, and next you can just watch your shirt here and yeah it's looking okay so fine um, next up we have our bottom so let's import here our bottom so click on them open them up and let's open the bottom material here and let's put all those textures into this very simple again the ambient occlusion we have the base color, the roughness, the normal, and at, least at uh, last, the metallic. After you did this, let's save everything up. And now we can start working on our third person character. So go to your third person character, open it up, and let's go to viewport. And let's change here the SK mannequin to the male base. So here is the base one. Compile and save. Um, and what we want to add here is more skeletal meshes, which will be top. And one more skeletal mesh, which will be bottom. But this should be a child of this mesh. So we have these two. Um, first we want to apply the male top, then we want to apply the male bottom. So very simple. Mm -hmm. For now we don't need any animations um, to be um, yeah, uh, set to the component master. So we just uh, play and we see here our character and it's applied perfectly. So yeah, this is how these steps work. For the next step, we want to uh, change the color of this uh, t-shirt. So for this, let's first get to our shirt and let's create a new folder called color vari variation. And inside this folder, we want to apply a new color, uh, something like color one. So um, actually, this one is uh, yeah the new color we uh, made. So for the old color, so let's fast search this. Mm -hmm. For this, we go to uh, desktop, your saves, and to the mail. Here we have the old colors. So um, just take here the top diffuse, open it up, and this one will be. A male top zero one maybe, so we can rename this later on. So uh, to actually change the color, what we need to do is um, here uh, get the third person character, and on the construction script, we want to set the material of this one. So um, yeah, and before we set the material, we want to create dynamic material instance. So we can dynamically change the material. 
So um, here we check the index, which is zero, uh, sorry, here, which is okay. Um, then we promote this to a variable, which will be our bottom, uh, sorry, our top reference like this. And yeah, that's it for this part. Mm. Yeah, I forgot to uh, create the material again, so go back to your base and duplicate the top material. And we call this top material 02. And this one will be top material 01. So then we move this here. And then we put in our um, new color inside this one and replace the base with it. So very simple. Just apply the new one. And yeah, next up we have here our event graph where we want the geeky to uh, change the t-shirt. So on pressed we want to set the material of the top to a new material which is um, yeah the top material too. So for now this won't work because we are on dedicated servers so for testing we just run it as a normal game. Now if I press G you can see the color changed. So uh, this is very simple but it worked. So to actually bring this to um, to multiplayer we need to do a few things. So first um, again start the run dedicated server and get to player 2. So if we now hit on play we have um, two characters here and if I press G he uh, changes his clothes but he can't see it. So we want this to happen for all. And what we actually do here is also very simple. We add a custom event which will be our server and we add a custom event which will be our client. And as the name suggests this one will be replicated to run on server and as will be replicated to run on all. So uh, from the press we call our server and from the server we call our client. So this, go, this goes to all depth and then we execute this one. So this is also very simple. We compile and save and now if we hit play we have here our two characters. So let's bring them a bit in and if this one here presses G you can see there he also changed his clothes to the new material. So if I press G here he also has this new material applied. And yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to show you in this video. And in the next few minutes, I will just uh, simply um, yeah, rename um, everything and make it a bit clearer what is what. And yeah, you can watch this if you like. And if you don't want to uh, rename your things, you can just skip to the next video. So yeah, what I wanted to do here is to give it all a bit better structure here. So to go through all of these um, folders. So first I wanted to go to the third person and here we have this map folder so I just want to delete it. Yes. And we don't need this overview here anymore. And I think this can be renamed into characters actually. Uh, but before we do this we uh, just get here or we just take the blueprints and move it into the characters folder. Then we can delete the third person blueprint folder. And yeah, here we have the blueprint folder. We have the bottom one, the mail base and the shirt one. So um, we make a new under folder which is just mail01. And inside this mail01 I will put the mail base. So this mail base will be um, default char and here we make some new folders called textures and of course a folder called material. 
So um, this diffuse we can delete actually and all the other stuff like the textures move here into the textures folder and the material will go into the material folder. So very simple. So let's go back into the mail. The default char is ready. Um, get a new folder called default top. And this default top will get the shirt. So open shirt one up. Uh, let's get this one and put it into default top. So uh, before we continue um, to delete here, let's go to miscellaneous and select the redirector so we can see if we have any redirectors. Nope. So now um, we can actually move these two folders also to the default top. So, uh, yeah, so we can delete now the shirt, very simple. So um, inside the default top, we want to have um, here our base. Let's actually bring this back here to the default top and let's delete the base here because this is our default top here and we want to have color variation. So um, actually we can uh, leave this here. So um, let's rename this to shirt top 01 or yeah, shirt top 01 is okay. And shirt top zero one material and yeah inside the color variation we have your color one or oh, actually let's make a new folder called color default and we put here all this stuff into the uh, color variation and then we put this whole stuff and to the color to default. So yeah, this is correctly now. So let's actually um, make a new folder for default bottom. Like this. And let's get all the bottom stuff to the default bottom. So we can delete this bottom folder here inside our default bottom want to have a new folder called color variation variation like this and get all this stuff into this color oh my bad I copied this so delete this and then just don't copy it just move it there new folder called color defaults and put all the stuff into here and yeah that's it for this folder for the character folder for the geometries we don't need them anymore so deleted geometries and yeah a third person also something we don't need anymore and again, and yeah, if you struggle to delete this here like I do, what I do then is um, open this project uh, content folder and get here the third person and just delete it like this. So yeah, it will on next reload uh, be removed. So uh, what I want to do now here is actually uh, to add another color variation for the bottom. And yeah, that's it. So go to fields, click on the bottom here, make this white here, the stripes. 
all these stripes can be white. Like this. And I think the main fabric will be in black. Like this. So export this again as a texture into a new folder. I made here a bottom folder. And let's just pick this up and save the PBR into this. Go back to your engine and um, make a new folder color, called color1. And let's copy this into color1. So here's bottom material 02. And we also want to import from our bottom male default the base color. So here we are. Put this in as our base color. And we have our base color. So this is also very simple. And let's save everything up. So, and that's everything for this tutorial. So we have a bit more um, base structure here. And yeah, in the next video, I think we will uh, make um, a choice in the beginning of the game and then transport this into the game so we can change the color only out of the game and not inside the game. So actually, um, our default characters um, will be um, set inside our main menu and then if we find new items we can change the clothes. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye!